Guys, if you want to make money with Michael, click the link below. You know, a lot of people, they don't know why you need to listen. Actually, read this right here. Day in the week influences which device people read emails on. With desktop, email clients being the most popular during the weekday and webmail and mobile being more popular during the weekend. Are you prepared for the mobile movement? It says 63% of Americans and 41% of Europeans would rather close or delete an email not optimized for mobile. 29% of Europeans would read emails later on a laptop or a PC, but 41% would delete or forget about the email. It says out of all mobile users, only about 2.3% 39% of individuals open the email on both a desktop and mobile device. They use it out of all the mobile. It says more than one half, which is 56% of U.S. customers who have made at least one purchase using their smartphone have done so in response to a marketing message delivered via mobile email, according to a survey from Exact Target. But most marketers still haven't figured out their mobile strategy. 48% still don't know how many mobile subscribers they have. The good news is you don't need to be one of them. <laughs> okay. Mobile email marketing. Okay. So it's very important that everything that you do is done with a mobile concept in mind. Okay. The numbers of smartphones shipped in 2011 has outrun feature phones and even laptops. A lot of people don't understand this. They're still living in like 2011, 2010, 2009, 2008. So everybody's on the mobile. When I, when I check my statistics, I see that about 60 to 70 percent of everybody that watches me is on their phone. And each year it's going to be, you know, climbing to the point where it's going to be about 90 percent. So any email marketing you do, it, you have to have everything um, situated for mobile users. Every email needs to be mobile optimized. How did you receive a message in the last purchase? More than one half of 56 percent of U.S. customers who have made at least one purchase using their smartphone has done so in response to a market the remote email non shopping uh, related applications and there's this is how they purchase Twitter telephone Facebook shopping related applications and there's email right there okay and there it is this is how people purchase this is what people do on their mobile phones you can see it right here right here uh, let me come up here uh, very important not important important okay a mobile workers check their email on waking or immediately after getting dressed it's 2011 smartphone users check the send, send send email with their device 2010 um, mobile devices uh, email is preferred method of commercial uh, communication by 74 percent of online adults okay so this is this is where it's at even though we're talking about years ago this stuff is still uh, increasing you know, email is never going to die or go away. Everyone loves their email. 35% is based on Facebook, 41% based on text, based on apps, 50% of, of users check their email, okay? Several times a day, throughout the day, at least once per day, 66%, at least once. <clears throat> but several and once are the most are the highest. And there's an the email right there, all right, email messaging. Now these studies are put together and it takes a lot of people and a lot of time to, to get all this information back so you can make a good you know study that was actually correct. So that's why it takes years on these studies. They really have to spend time gathering all this data. Okay, so a lot of people are in their Facebook, we understand that. But Facebook is a social application, so it's more about communicating with your friends. When people are dealing with business, they're gonna deal with their email. When the information from the businesses is obtained, a lot of a lot of businesses are still reluctant to go to Facebook for marketing when they're asking for the information from the person because people's Facebook change. Um, they're not always on Facebook for the reasons of business. A lot of people don't want to be bothered with business, so customer. I mean, um, companies are still going to ask for the phone number and email. It's always going to be that go-to source, no matter how big Facebook is. And I don't think Facebook is actually going to get any bigger. Your Snapchat and everything is more popular with younger people than actually Facebook. So, you know, Instagram was holding strong, but now it's, I think it's actually declining. Um, for it, it, Everything has its purpose. You know, Instagram is more of a, of a, of a, of a, of a photo, you know, um, 
website. So it's for, you know, if girls want to take nice photos of cute showing their, their food and stuff like that, you know, it's kind of owned by Facebook. So it's intertwined with that whole, you know, this is what I'm doing right now type thing, you know, just basically um, taking these selfies. But when you're talking about business and people who are running a business, they're still going to always fall back to email, email and texting and, you know, texting, email, um, push notifications is always going to be the the way which in in a sense texting or push notifications is kind of like a similar to email but you have to have a place where all this is stored you know and in your mobile phone you just don't have a collective storage that's big enough or, or good enough or as easily uh, maintained as, as your email account as your free Google account okay that's where everybody's gonna fall back to so email marketing is where it's at it's gonna be where it's at people need to be able to get on their phone and check out all their emails but but now, you know, mostly all websites are made and created. Of course, Google is made for smartphones. So, you know, it's very easy now. Okay. Just make sure your website is, of course, mobile ready and you're good to go. That's the advice for 2018. But you need to be email marketing. That is the whole point of this video. Everyone is going to purchase through email. 73%, guys. 73% of people are going to be purchasing through your email. 56 right here have made a purchase. But during the 70s, when it comes to how many people are going to purchase through their email, okay, that's that's what it's at. That's where it's at. If you haven't started email marketing, it's time to start email marketing.